recording. Second. Yep, we are live now. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome. We're just a few minutes into the session and we're still waiting for a few more to trickle in, but welcome. Um, I'm Prachi Guru, Director of Recruitment Marketing Wipro, and very excited to see all of you here for the Velocity Orientation session, as you are the first batch of students to know about our exclusive upgrade program. Thanks for joining us on a Friday evening, and I bet this will be the start of a great weekend. Here's what you can expect in the next one hour. Know all about Velocity, find out what makes you the chosen one, make a note of all the important dates, get answers to your questions, of course, and to top it all, meet a power pack lineup of Wipro leaders. I have a small request. Please do not record or take screenshots of the presentation that we'll take you through today. Rest assured, we will bring you all the information and details that you need over the next few days. All right then, let's get started. I'd like to invite Anurag Seth, VP and Head Talent Transformation Wipro, to answer the most burning question of the hour. What is velocity? Over to you then, Anurag. Have you checked if uh, Prachi while Anurag is coming on? Have you checked if everyone can hear us? They can see the presentation. Um, Apurva, is there a way for us to check with the audience? Yes, it's visible, uh, but uh, I've checked. I've checked. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we'll have to give it a few minutes to Anurag. Otherwise, I, can I request you, Aparna, please, to give us a very quick overview of the program. Aparna Shailene, Global Head Campus Hiring. Sure, Prachi. Um, I know Anurag's on the call, uh, but probably uh, taking a while to get on with this. Um, so welcome, everyone. And uh, just to share a brief context, I know you, you've all been receiving some teasers from us. Um, you've heard the word upgrade before, so you've probably got a bear, you know, a fair idea of what we're talking about. Um, but this is this is a much larger offering that we have uh, this time round. So beyond the upgrade, uh, you know, velocity is really about uh, creating an upskilled workforce for the future for Wipro and for uh, the in industry as a whole, right? Um, so if you look at velocity, there are a couple of things that you get through this program. We're talking about uh, upskilling on some of the new age technologies. We'll talk about it more as we move along. And along with that comes some added benefits in terms of once you certify, uh, you know, there are again, you know, better things that are in store for you from a Wipro offer perspective. Uh, we have over here people who have our elite offers and we've also selected uh, a group of people who are, uh, you know, who've got our turbo offers. And, uh, and Velocity will really apply to uh, to both the groups. It's it's a very, very unique opportunity, and I hope you know all of you will make the most of it. The idea of the orientation is to ensure that you get a good understanding, uh, get to ask all your questions, and also understand the timelines around registration of this program. Um, it's, it's a pipeline that we're building for the future. It's a huge business need. Uh, and you will also have one of our senior leaders who will come and talk to you a little bit more about it uh, later in the, uh, you know, later in about half an hour or so, and uh, and get a little bit more context with respect to how some of these skills are going to help you uh, with respect to both working in Wipro and from a future, um, you know, career perspective. So uh, welcome and um, and look forward to a lot of questions and interaction from all of you. And over to you, Prachi. Thank you. Thank you, Aparna. Um, Bhavish, if you don't mind going back to the previous page, I just want to take a minute. Uh, and uh, we have thousands of students with us already, and all of you come from the engineering background, so velocity as a physics term and as a term is not new for you, but I want you to keep in mind that after this session, you're going to change the formula of velocity. It's not going to any longer be about displacement over time, 
but how you are going to grow in your career in a record time. So thanks, Bhavesh, for flipping back. And now over to you about a detailed view into the program and what all our participants here can expect from this session and the program. Over to you, Bhavesh. Thanks, Prachi, and, and thank you, Aparna, for this wonderful insight. I mean, we have close to about two and a half thousand students, and, and thank God it's Friday. Uh, and, and what better day for each one of us to introduce uh, one of the largest programs that's going to set an industry benchmark, right? This program velocity is going to give you a, a very huge head start into your corporate journey. And uh, I am here to kind of uh, talk to you about some of the details about what this program entails, following which, as Aparna was saying, we will have one of our very senior leaders talk to you and give you his perspective. Of how can this change uh, your whole career journey? Following which we'll have uh, some of the question answer sessions wherein again we have uh, several of our uh, Pipro leaders who've taken time out on a Friday evening to address you and answer all your queries. So quickly moving on, I mean, I'm sure uh, everybody amongst you is trying to fathom, is trying to understand that what have you done which has made you eligible. And, and if you remember, uh, every email that we have sent in the last couple of days have very clearly called out that this is only for an exclusive set of students. Now the question comes, how did you become exclusive? Why and how uh, are you eligible for this program? The answer is extremely simple. What we've looked at is your performance in the AMCAT assessment, uh, and the top performers have been picked up to be a part of this journey. This journey, which will give you several benefits, and we will talk about some of the benefits in, in the slides to come. So I think, uh, one, we are extremely proud of you. Uh, so should you be. I think it, it's time for uh, us to give you all a huge round of applause and and for you to pat yourself on the back to be a part of the journey with us. Well, uh, moving on, the next question that I'm sure uh, each one of you will have is, great, I am a part of this journey. Now, what do I get out of this journey? And, and as we were saying, we are uh, looking at, at uh, engineers. We have a majority of you who are a part of elite offer that we've already uh, given to all of you. There are some students who are uh, already a part of turbo offer that are there. So we have distributed the offerings into two different buckets. The commonalities obviously are the fact that each one of you now will be earmarked and earmarked to work in, in niche uh, areas, niche areas of full stack of cloud and Salesforce. Right? So this is where you get a chance to not just get yourself certified in, in these niche technologies, but when you join, you also become a part of the projects which are marquee in nature thus uh, giving you a, a head start and, and helping you in your journey uh, once you join Wipro. Now, if I'm an elite engineer, what else do I have? Uh, the, the best part, and I'm sure uh, all of you are looking forward to, to the increase in compensation and, and our mailbox has been flooded with questions on when and how uh, is Wipro introducing the upgrade offer. So this is where we are. Uh, each one of the elite engineers to complete the certification and, and point to be noted that this is uh, dependent on your completion of the certification. So once you complete the certification, all of you who do that will be eligible for a turbo offer. We will revise your offer from elite to turbo. And as you all know, the compensation change is going to be from three and a half lakhs to six and a half lakhs. So thus it is not just about uh, your ability to get a head start and, and work with the best minds in the industry in the best technologies that you can ask for but also in terms of uh, a monetary increase that you will see. Apart from that, uh, there is another element that we have brought into play, and I think you are going to be very, very excited about this. For all of you, which is including Elite and Turbo with a small difference, the entire reimbursement of the training fees, and we will talk about the training fees in, in slides to come. Uh, there is going to be a training fee which you will have to uh, uh, dish out. And once you do that, once you get yourself certified, once you join Wipro, if you happen to be a already turbo offered candidate, you your training fees alongside the GST will be given to you in the first month after your joining. If I happen to be an elite engineer, the fact that my compensation is changing from three and a half lakhs to six and a half lakhs, which already has made me rich, uh, we will ask you to wait for six months. Post six months of your completion uh, of, of uh, joining with us, your entire fee will be reimbursed to you. Well, moving on, uh, we wanted to give you a quick view of the three technologies that we said we are going to uh, get you certified in. 
we're talking about full stack. So, so when we look at this program, uh, we're talking about full stack. We're looking at cloud and we're looking at Salesforce, right? And within these uh, three large uh, technologies, we also have specific components that are part of it. So some of you will get tagged, for example, with Java full stack. Some of you will be a part of .NET full stack, Merlin, mean, and so on and so forth. For those of you who are going to get tagged to cloud, you will be either working with the GCP framework or in AWS or in Azure. And likewise, we also will have some of you who are earmarked for getting a Salesforce certification. Uh, I've been talking about training, right? So, so it's also important that who is going to impart this training? Where will this training come from? And that's when uh, our training partners come to play. So Wipro, uh, over the past few months, and I, I, I uh, trust me when I tell you that we have taken uh, a lot of leadership bandwidth. We've spent enormous amount of time to be able to design uh, a framework of this uh, magnitude. So what we've also done is we have uh, looked at industry leading training partners across the country. And we have zeroed in on these five large uh, finishing schools. So we are talking about Stackroot, Great Learning, Simply Learn, RPS Consulting, and Manipal Group. As a follow up to this discussion, what we will also do is all of you have already been divided into different cohorts, right? So some of you, for example, as I was saying, will be a part of Java Full Stack in the Full Stack community and maybe routed to either a Stackroot or a Great Learning and, and, and so on and so forth. So that skill mapping and partner mapping has already been done. Uh, and, and that's been done by virtue of we taking your skill sets in preference. So if you remember, uh, a lot of you have already filled the survey forms, letting us know in terms of what are the skill sets that you would prefer to work in. Uh, some of you did not uh, give us that indication. So, so we have tried marrying uh, your skill sets that you prefer versus the business demand and clubbed you into different cohorts as we were saying. So, so all those details will come to you very, very soon. And all of you will be required to start your training program on that particular skill set with the training partner that's been assigned to you. To give you an overview of what this program is going to look like, uh, in, a, in, in, in an overview or a nutshell, we are talking about 250 to 300 hours of online training, right? Obviously, when you look at a a training of this magnitude and a, and a full stack certification or a cloud certification or a Salesforce certification. We're talking about a duration of 250 to 300 hours, which will comprise of several milestone journeys, uh, online assessments, uh, followed by a capstone project, and eventually uh, all of that culminating into you getting certified in, in, in these technologies. Uh, the approximate timeline that we are considering uh, the fact that uh, a lot of you are, are still struggling with your seventh semester by the time we start the training and uh, let's say if we move ahead in, in April, May, uh, most of you will be uh, busy with your uh, eighth semester and all of that. We are trying to look at an elongated time frame to be able to give you the flexibility to try and complete this training program in four to six months. After four to six months, once you've completed this uh, training program successfully is when you become a part of the Velocity upgrade program and, and successfully on board with Wipro. So uh, as I said, I mean, I think you should all be very, very proud of yourself and, and we are. Uh, you happen to be the top uh, performers in the entire and when we talk about Wipro, I'm, I'm sure you guys all know that there are several lakhs of students who participate in the Wipro through various programs. We have Talent Next, we have on-campus programs. We also uh, have a marquee event of National Talent Hunt. So, so the fact that uh, today you get to be chosen in a program of this size, it means a lot. It means a lot for us. It means a lot for you. So, so again, uh, I am sure your backs will hurt, but give it, give a pat on your back for you to get here. So we are at a stage when we are at an orientation session, and I'm going to just walk you through some of the things that will come pretty soon. Uh, post the orientation session, we are talking about uh, getting introduced to our training partners. Uh, we've given you the names. Uh, I will just flip back on that screen. So we are talking about Stackroot, Great Learning, and, and please don't start recording or, or noting down any of these. Uh, all the information that we're talking about will come to you. We will have several sessions with you, helping you at each stage of your journey, trying to do as much as possible, and, and, and we'll get back to you on that. So introduction with training partners, and this exercise will start from next week onwards, depending on which cohort are you a part of. Are you a part of 
uh, the full stack journey? Are you a part of cloud? Are you a part of Salesforce? And within those technologies, are you a part of uh, the training which is going to get imparted with, with Stackroot or with Manipal or with somebody else? So we will give you that information and allow you uh, a good amount of time for you to ponder through this entire program, go through our FAQ document, uh, ask as many questions as you want to ask, and we are there to help you at, at each stage of this journey. Following which uh, there will be an enrollment uh, with the training partners, right? So, so there is a registration form that will come to you. Once you fill that registration form, the details about payments, about how do you progress on the journey, when do you start your training, and all of that will be explained in sessions that we will hold uh, from next week onwards. Uh, once the training starts, uh, there will be milestones as we were talking about. There'll be milestones, there'll be assessments, there'll be certification. And once you complete that certification is when you get to the ultimate uh, objective, which is to come and join and be a part of the Wipro family. Right? Uh, if you look at this uh, small uh, text field, which is mentioned, so what we're talking about is, is uh, how do I now express my interest to join this program? After the completion, by the end of the day, all of you will get an email. That email will have a registration link. We will also be sharing a detailed FAQ document of everything that we're talking about so that you get to go through that in details and have a clear understanding. Should you still feel that there are some questions that perhaps were not answered, please feel free to reach out to any of our uh, folks. There is a specific email ID and I'm going to share that email ID with you as well, where you can write from tomorrow onwards. Uh, please don't write today. The, the mail ID is still not active. Tomorrow onwards, you can start writing to that ID and this ID is dedicated to all of you, which is dedicated to the Velocity Upgrade program. Uh, as far as the registration goes, we are talking about uh, the registration process being open till 8th of February. So which means uh, there is ample amount of time given to each one of you and, and I would urge all of you to not take a decision in haste. This is an important step. Uh, all of you are obviously required to one, uh, go through the program details uh, at length to uh, read the contents of our FAQ so that you understand each and every aspect of what this program entails. Three, should there be still more questions, please do not hesitate to, to write to us in that ID and our team will ensure that we give you a response within 24 hours, right? Uh, talk to your Avish, you might want to move to the next slide, which has the timelines. I thought it might get easier for our participants as well. Fair enough. Thanks. 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 Right. I kind of forgot what is the next slide. So, no worry. so, so yes, uh, this is the uh, timeline journey, which kind of calls out uh, where exactly do we want to be at what point in time? So, so 20th of Jan, which is today, uh, we are at an orientation session telling you about velocity, telling you about what it entails and how can you uh, begin this journey. 29th Jan, which is starting tomorrow till about 8th of Feb. Uh, again, as I said, we have given you ample amount of time to, to mull over the details, to talk to your relatives, talk to your parents, and then take a judicious decision. So you will have time till 8th of February for you to register. We will share that link with you today. Uh, the registration uh, and acceptance of this program will mean that all of you are uh, in understanding of what this entails and you are in agreement. 2nd to 4th Feb, which is next week onwards, we are going to start having orientation sessions and to help you understand more details. And, and these sessions are aimed at uh, introducing the partners with you, uh, answering specific questions on what is the payment schedule, what is the uh, curriculum, when does the training start, uh, how many hours do I need to spend, and, and, and payment links and whatnot. I'm sure there'll be several questions that must uh, be there in your minds right now. And all of those questions specific to the to the details of the training partner and the commencement of training and how often will the trainings be conducted will be shared with you between this uh, window of second to fourth Feb in different cohorts. Uh, 9th to 12th Feb and, and if you look at 8th of February being the last date for registration, we have given you a window of another four days to ensure that you start the payment and enrollment with the training partner. So there is a payment uh, fee which we spoke about. We will give you the details uh, of how much, what is the quantum of the payment in the email that comes to you uh, by the end of the today. Uh, we are also, uh, we've also told you that the payment, which is the entire training fee will be reimbursed to you after successful completion of your certification. 
And once you come and join, uh, if I happen to be a, already a turbo candidate, your reimbursement will happen within the first month of your joining. If you are a elite engineer who's got a chance to upgrade his or her salary, then your compensation, as we already said, will change from three and a half lakh to six and a half lakh. And the reimbursement of the entire training fee, including the GST, will come to you post six months of your joining the pro. 15th February uh, is, is when we are targeting uh, for the commencement of training. So your training will start 15 February onwards and uh, with 250 to 300 hours or, or close to about four to six months that we spoke about in terms of the duration of the entire training program, we look forward to having you on board from July onwards. So the moment you complete your certification, we'll be more than happy to bring you on board and, and make you a part of the Wipro family. So with this, uh, I will hand over to Prachi. Over to you, Prachi. Thank you. Thank you, Bhavesh. Thanks for that detailed uh, walkthrough for the program. Uh, and thank you, participants. Uh, we see a lot of questions pouring in live. Please rest assured we are going to have a Q&A time uh, and we are going to try and answer as many questions as we possibly can. Um, and if we can't get to your questions today, we will over the next few days, over the course of next few days, come back and uh, answer those for you. We are waiting for a very senior leader to come join us. Until then, um, I'd like to go back and invite Anurag because we weren't able to hear from him when we started the session. Um, so Anurag, if I could please request you to share a few words. Anurag, as I told you, is VP and Head Talent Transformation. Uh, Anurag, it'll be great for these students to hear from you. So over to you, please. Yeah, so uh, team, good evening. Uh, uh, you know, I had the talent transformation, which is all the technical trainings uh, across the organization. You know, and in the past years, I have seen that how uh, many of the fresh students from colleges, you know, are aspiring to learn uh, things on full stack, uh, artificial intelligence, cloud, SFDC and things like that, right? Now that gave us a lot of motivation. Uh, that, you know, uh, one side, if we put you through this program on full stack and cloud and other things, uh, and if you successfully complete this program, you know, why not peg you to a different level in the organization where you fast track your career? You are there at a at a level which is above uh, most of the freshers, right? Uh, so on one side, from organization standpoint, because you are already skilled and trained on the digital skills, uh, we are able to deploy you to customer engagements much faster, right? As soon as you join, we will actually deploy you on these digital skills, and that way it gives you kind of a guarantee that you are actually deployed on a skill that you have just completed a certification. And from your perspective, uh, it not only gives you an opportunity to work on those digital projects, but it also gives you an opportunity to uh, uh, almost double your salary. I mean, maybe not double, maybe 80, 85 percent more than what offer has already been given to you, right? So you get upgraded from Elite to Turbo. And for the Turbo people, you know, some of you are from Turbo already today. We are saying you you come in, uh, you know, we will uh, we you get certified. Uh, we will put you on to the high-end uh, digital pr projects in the organization straight away after you join uh, Wipro and we will also reimburse uh, your whatever training cost that you spend the moment you join Wipro and you successfully complete the program. So I thought uh, we thought that you know it is a win-win for both the organization as well as the students. Of course it's you know it's it's uh, you know in this journey I mean it is an optional thing for you. Um, uh, you know, and uh, you, if you if you decide not to go for this program, the offer that we have already given you for elite still stands, holds good, right? So you can come in uh, as elite. But if if uh, all of you you know aspire to get into the next thing, then that is something that we are offering it to you. So so I'm sure a lot of questions are there. We will answer those questions you know shortly later in the program today. So over to you, Prachi. Thank you so much, Anurag. That was really insightful. I'd uh, like to request Aparna again to come uh, and address the forum uh, as it's growing. Um, you know, Aparna, we've spoken, Bhavesh spoke about how this program is exclusively being offered to this group. I thought it'll be good for us to sort of dig a little deeper into that. If you could talk to the students present today and let them know why them, right? That's the big thing. How have we shortlisted these students and what was the thinking? Uh, that'll be great. So Aparna, requesting you again to come on board. Sure, thanks, Prachi. Um, in fact, I was just looking at a lot of the questions, and I think a lot of folks are asking us whether there will be an assessment uh, the way we've done previously for the upgrade program from Elite to Turbo, um, and you know how will this whole bit work? 
So uh, we, we've changed the game a little bit. You just heard Anurag talk about why we've done that. You know, what's in it for uh, for us, for you, uh, and what are the trends that we were seeing with respect to the kind of technology, the kind of skills that are needed today. So we definitely wanted to build and upskill uh, into the upgrade program. So the idea is that you're not coming in just with you know, the basic engineering, the basic technical training that we are providing, but also uh, working on key technologies, which are a huge demand with our clients. Uh, and you're upskilled on those to be able to take on and work in some of those areas. Um, and hence, what we've done is if you look at from an elite perspective and a turbo perspective, we've really looked at basically the top um, you know, section of people uh, who've performed very, very well in our uh, engineering assessment. So the AMCAC uh, assessment that you all did, basis which your offers have been received, essentially looked at some of the top performers in that assessment. So we've had an internal cutoff to say that we need a certain level um, you know, of performance that people have achieved, uh, especially focused on certain areas like coding, uh, and analytical ability because those are important as we look at some of these programs. And we're, we've also been conscious of the fact that we want to select a group of people who have the capability to move ahead, learn and certify themselves through this program. So from our perspective, we would like 100% of you to certify, uh, to go through the assessment, sorry, to go through the program. And the program, of course, has inbuilt evaluations, right? So basis which you will get the certification to say I'm Salesforce certified or I'm full stack certified um, or I'm cloud certified, you know, as per the programs that Bhavesh has shared earlier. And once you've received that certification, then the elite hires will join us at the turbo compensation uh, and will receive a reimbursement uh, on their training program for six months of joining. And like Anurag mentioned, and I'm reiterating our turbo hires uh, you know, we, we value again people who performed extremely well in our assessment and we thought had a great potential to upskill themselves on some of these technologies. And so you get the opportunity to also upskill yourself, get your training reimbursed and get it reimbursed right at the point of joining, right? So we will not wait for an additional six months for you. So for you, the moment you join us, uh, your entire training will be reimbursed. Uh, and I must add here that these trainings, if you know, you really look at what the market has to offer in terms of the cost of these training programs. Um, we've we've really, really worked, you know, basis Wipro, basis the scale that we're offering, really worked very closely with our vendors to get you a very, very competitive, um, uh, you know, training cost, right? Which of course will, like we said, it will be reimbursed, but even upfront for you to pay, it's a very, very competitive amount. And you will get details on that as you uh, move into the vendor orientations. So you're the top performers in our AMCAT. Uh, you're people who we believe have done exceptionally well in certain areas, especially of the assessment. And hence, we believe are ready to go ahead and take this program and and, and certify yourselves uh, to be able to join us back uh, with, with the certifications. Thank you, Aparna. That was really exciting. And I'm sure answers a lot of questions that our participants have. Um, I'd like to invite PB Kotur, also from our talent transformation team, a very insightful leader, to talk to this group about why we're doing this in terms of getting all of you ready for the future, right? We are offering you these future skills and we want to make you market ready. So PB Kotur, if I could please invite you to share a few thoughts and um, speak to the group today. Sure. Thank you so much, uh, Prachi. Good evening to all of you. You know, it's a fun, first and foremost, a hearty congratulation to all of you. You are the best of the best talent. I think all my colleagues told you. The future is now and therefore we have to be ready. So that's how I answer uh, this question to all young minds. The future report, uh, Prachi. You know, the, the skills that you have got in the campus uh, has brought up to this point. But in order to go to the customer's level, we have to do something. What has brought up to this point will not take you to the next point. Therefore, velocity is the only option to make that your uh, jump start and high jump. Uh, that's where you will see that. So in order to be relevant in a digital work, uh, work world, it is important that uh, you come with both um, uh, vertical expertise and horizontal uh, exposure. 
that's what we call in uh, skill uh, capability model as a T-shaped uh, skill and competence. So whatever the programming language we have studied, whatever the exposure that you have around uh, IT skills, so these future ready skills will develop deeper insight, rich hands-on and uh, customer ready capabilities. So the entire program that designed for you will fast track not only your employable ability, but your deployability. So customer look forward to see a young mind to be on par with a three to four years experience in the individual in IT world. This program, especially the velocity, creates those capabilities for you to be relevant, future ready, and have those capabilities, including the soft skills like confidence and courage to face the customer world much more superior. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much, uh, Patul. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm sure all the students who are here uh, will take away a lot from that very insightful observation from you. Um, I'd also like now like to go back to Anurag with another question. Anurag, if you could please come on again and tell us while we've shared with the participants our thinking and how we are wanting to get them ready for the future, if you could talk a little bit about what is our expectation of them. What do we want to see from them? I think that will be an interesting conversation as well. Yes, yeah, see, I mean, the fundamental thing is that uh, you people are from different backgrounds. Some of you are from circuit branches. Some of you are from non circuit branches. You may not have had much exposure to the programming skills. And, you know, that is why uh, we have currently put you on to a pre joining foundation program where, you know, we will teach you the basics, uh, the, the basics, the foundation and uh, once you do this, you know, the, the, the expectation that we have is that if you really want to aspire for this program where you get upgraded to the next level, you must put in your best effort for this, right? So you prepare yourself between now and 14th of February. You prepare yourself by going through the pre-joining program that we are giving you so that you are comfortable with the, um, uh, with the you know, with the, the foundation and the basics like Java skills, for example. Then when you move on to the full stack program or the cloud skills program, that is where you would be able to appreciate and understand it better. Now, life is not going to be easy. You have to put in some amount of effort, especially if you have not got any programming knowledge, you have to put in that effort. But believe me, once you go through this effort, we are talking about only about 18 weeks. This program would be there from 15th of February uh, to about 16 to 18 weeks, which means about middle of June or something, you know, this program will finish. And during this time, uh, uh, you know, we have pl planned it in such a way that you uh, in a week you only spend about 12 to 15 hours and maybe sometime when you have your examination or something, you will not be able to spend so much time. But then after the examination, you can put in more time. Maybe you can put in 25, 30 hours, right? But if you do this program, please understand that this will help you uh, uh, to be ready for customer projects, customer digital projects on full stack or cloud. And then Subsequently, uh, uh, you, your, your, your salary will also become to the turbo level, right? And that way, uh, your career will start uh, one level above most of the others. You will be actually in the top 25% bracket, if I can tell you. Uh, amongst all the freshers, all the 32, 40,000 freshers who will join us this year, uh, you will be amongst the top 25% in terms of salary, in terms of capability, in terms of uh, you getting into customer digital projects. Right now, that is the power that you can create for yourself. So our expectation is you go through the program, uh, 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 you know, we give your assessments, uh, do the hands on assignments. If you need help, you get stuck. Don't worry about it. We have got line of uh, mentors who are there from the partner side, um, uh, the partner of choice that we have taken as well as from Wipro side who will be there to guide you throughout the process. All we need from you is your effort because that is something only you can put. But from the guidance, mentorship, uh, handholding support we will give you because we want you to succeed and come and join us in the customer projects. And this is something very unique in the industry for the first time Wipro is doing it for this batch. Yeah. So maybe Prachi, if we can take some more question answers that are there on the screen and people, you know, we encourage you to put the question answers, uh, you know, as we go along. Sure, Anurag. Sure, thanks. I'd like to invite Rana Chakraborty actually from Ideas Business Line to talk a little bit about 
um, our overall coverage and outcome. But well, there I see Rajan is here with us. Uh, Rana, sorry, we'll come back to that question. A very warm welcome to you, Rajan. Thank you so much for making the time. I know there were a little technical glitches, uh, but we are so glad that we have you here with us. We have a growing forum. Uh, we have close to 2500 or so students who are here with us today. Um, Rajan, welcome officially uh, for the participants on the call. Rajan Kohli is president and managing partner ideas business line, and it's absolutely our privilege to have him here today and talk to you guys uh, and hear from him what his thinking is on why Wipro, why we are doing this for you guys. And as Anurag in the group and Aparna were discussing what we expect from you. So Rajan, over to you and thank you again so much for making the time for this. Thank you. Thanks for uh, your time and thanks everyone for joining. Really excited uh, to be here. Uh, even uh, more excited, uh, uh, you know, because I think this is a great time to be an engineer. Uh, this it's never been a better time for an engineer and it's an even better time to be an engineer at Wipro. Uh, we are on a tremendous turnaround journey. Uh, you know, you're seeing the, the results, you're reading the newspapers. We have delivered industry leading growth due to our focus on building right capabilities and focus on fast growing digital and cloud businesses. And we have, you know, reorganized ourselves into a very customer centric model that is showing great results for us. This growth has put us on a high demand for talent. And, you know, we were also very early in our journey on digital. We acquired a design firm uh, called Design It in 2015. Uh, you know, because we understood that clients would eventually want to design and build uh, through the same partner. Uh, we've also more recently uh, acquired Capco in consulting uh, because we understand uh, that we want to actually uh, own our own des destiny. We want to design programs, we want to design customer journeys, and we want to deliver, and not just uh, code uh, on a pres prescriptive ask by our clients. That is exactly why we need full stack engineers with very high analytical ability who can co-create with clients uh, and work very closely with designers to get optimum results. Customers are very eager to work with engineering graduates who are skilled and ready to work on digital projects. And you know, our highest amount of demand is in digital. Uh, today, you know, we are in a space where we are not demand constrained. We are actually supply constrained. Uh, that is why we are actually pushing this program to get the best of the talent at the right time. The Turbo Upgrade program not only enables you to get best training, uh, even before you join Wipro, it also helps you to get onto the programs much faster. Uh, and that's the cycle time that we want to crunch. This is an exclusive offer as it opened to few select people. As you heard through the presentation, uh, this is not open to everyone. You've been selected as best of the best among the thousands of freshers that were selected in the campus program. Hence, it's a game changer for your career as you would be among the top 25% freshers who we hire this year. And you will be among the chosen few who will work on our best programs. And of course, you can increase your salary by up to 85%. I would take that any day. And this program also gives you an opportunity to nurture your natural flair for new generation talent. But you know, all this is okay. I will tell you the biggest in, uh, return from this investment of time is that this program will teach you how to learn, and that's the most essential survival skill for anybody in your profession. So what do we expect from you in return? A little bit, we do expect from you as well. Uh, please put in the hard work that is required to complete all the training modules within the timeline. You know, some of you may find it a little difficult initially, but we believe in you. We have, you know, obviously chosen uh, a select amount of people uh, because we are 100% confident that if you put in that required effort, you will complete this program. Uh, we have chosen and curated the partner. We have worked with them over many years uh, as part of our digital programs. Uh, they have committed to support you throughout the engagement. And please reach out to your mentors who would guide you as and when they're needed. As soon as you complete the program and join us, we shall deploy you on your projects. Thank you. 
and wish you the very best. And I hope to see you at Wipro soon. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you so much, Rajan. Uh, I'm sure it's a great opportunity for students to hear from a senior leader like you. Uh, like you said, uh, if we were in this spot, a lot of us in the panel would be so excited as students. So uh, I wish some of these things were being done when we were fresh out of college and looking to join organizations such as Wipro. If I could just ask you one lighthearted question, Rajan. We spoke about learning. We all know how important it is. What's the most exciting and most recent thing you've learned that you can share with this group? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's nothing to do with coding. Uh, I have uh, learned new skills uh, staying at home, cooking <laughs> and stuff like that, gardening. So yeah. yes, nothing to do with coding. That's the most recent skills that I've learned. Wonderful. Thanks again, Rajan. We understand how busy your schedule is and really appreciate the time that you've taken. Through the course of the presentation, we've taken all of you, all our participants today, through yes. the program construct, what you can expect, what lies ahead. And we will now use the rest of the 15 minutes for a Q&A session. Bhavesh, if I could request you to take it on back with you um, and address some of the questions that we are seeing in the live panel and some of the other questions that have been submitted. So over to you, Bhavesh, and thanks. Thanks, 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 uh, Prachi, and thank you, Rajan, for for spending time uh, and, and addressing these students. I mean, well, the questions are are pouring in as we speak, and 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 there are several of them. I also see that some of our leaders are already answering the questions one to one. But let me pick uh, some of the questions which are which are seemingly very very common, and and the fact that I have uh, a good problem, which is a problem of plenty. I am going to uh, pick some of our senior leaders to be able to answer those questions for for all our students here. So uh, the first question that I see, which is very, very common and, and a lot of you have asked is when will this training start? So Rana, can I call upon you to, to kind of give an insight into when exactly is the training going to start and what are some of the other details that all the students should be aware about? Surely. So uh, I think uh, welcome uh, in the uh, in the session uh, to all of you from the Trading point uh, of view, we are planning to start this one from uh, mid February uh, to be precise on 14th of February at this moment of time. As it was clearly mentioned to all of you, there are certain uh, processes to be followed. After these sessions, there will be certain communications and there will be certain enrollment process will be involved. And we have a trading partner who will definitely organize a certain induction uh, uh, sessions with you to make you go through actually uh, how to make it possible and how to get it enrolled. OK, so around two weeks time you have to complete this entire process of uh, enrolling and uh, to start actually our training from the February 14th. Uh, in case if uh, anybody uh, is having any specific uh, challenges of to start it, that's something definitely you can come back to us in terms of understanding means with is there any other uh, means uh, uh, process that we can help you definitely we are more than welcome to do that okay in terms of the training point of view the entire training is a span between uh, means almost like a five to seven months so when i say that means uh, anurag already mentioned to you during his discussions that uh, we are expecting this entire course actually will be taken care and over by mid of January so that I'm sorry mid of June so that you can join definitely by end of June or the July time frame and this time of time span actually we kept it in mind uh, in consideration that you have uh, the final exams and you have some other assessment to be submitted in the colleges so because of that we are providing this one into that stretch okay nevertheless if anybody feel that means after this uh, enter training sessions is over by our partners and as soon as you can submit this and you can make it ready yourself i think you are most welcome to do that okay. so uh, that's from the timeline perspectives um, babesh thanks. any any other things on the outside other than timeline perspective please yeah so thanks and I'll, I'll kind of come back to you uh, on some of the sure. questions there are plenty of them uh, let sure. me move over to anurag and, and request anurag to answer uh, the second most common question that i have been uh, seeing in the chat which happens to be uh, what what happens if I do not clear the certification program? Andrag, over to you, please. Yeah, so if you if you join the certification program and uh, you do not clear it or you leave it midway or something like that, your offer of elite that we have already given you still stands. So you so you will still join Wipro at an elite level and you will still be assigned to a 
training and a customer project uh, um, uh, to yourself. So you do not lose from that perspective. However, uh, you know, if you have already paid for this uh, program to the partner and, uh, you know, that is something that would not be refunded. So uh, that decision, whether you want to join this program or not, you can take it today. Uh, however, if you go through this program and midway, if you, you drop out, uh, you know, your offer of elite will continue to stay. Thank, thanks, Anurag, for that. Uh, well, moving on to Aparna. Aparna, there are a lot of questions about uh, people talking about onboarding. I think it's, it's a great story that people are already looking at uh, the next four or five months, uh, the journey of completing their su uh, certification successfully. So the question that, that uh, seems to be coming up uh, more often than not is, when will the onboarding start? Uh, Aparna? Yeah, yeah, Bhavesh. So the training, as you all know, starts by mid-February um, and we'd, we'd already shared that we're expecting about five months should be a good time frame for you to complete that training. Um, so we are looking at uh, your onboarding happening soon after you certify. So the faster you can complete your certification, um, you know, you'll be ready to onboard with the pro. Uh, for this group, we're looking at a five month approximate plan so we are thinking that somewhere after that in July uh, August we should be able to onboard you uh, if some of you will take a little bit longer uh, there is a time frame that we've planned so between five to seven months uh, we would want uh, essentially everyone to complete certification I don't think you know there will be more time than that that will be needed uh, and as a part of the program uh, because we will have other batches running we will want you to finish your training within that time period and then join us soon after Thank you. Thank you, Aparna. Uh, can I call upon Kotur now? And Kotur, I have got two questions for you, uh, which is again, I mean, not the question from me, but from our participants. Uh, yes. The question that's there is, uh, can I change the request of skills and the training partner that's allotted to me? So a lot of students are asking about uh, if there is a possibility of they being able to change the, the skill set as well as the allocation of training program or training partner, sorry. I think everybody aspire to do that, but uh, our careful design, uh, whoever is asking this question, we have looked at their uh, uh, expression of interest in the skill uh, preference one, two, three. Um, based on their interest, we have taken utmost care in putting them into the right uh, partner. Uh, that's where I would like to answer. But if there's somebody is um, you know, very keen to discuss with you or me, uh, we can take one on one. Otherwise, um, uh, right now we have allocated as an algorithmic approach based on the business demand as well as their preference to these skills. Yeah, and I think we had done a survey recently, right, where the preferences were taken. So we have people who gave the preferences. We have tried our level best to map uh, their preferences to this one, right? And based on that, we have done people who have not given preferences. You know, we have looked at your profile and allocated you that. So that would stay. Sure. Thanks, Sandra. Thanks. So Kotur, I've got, uh, as I said, I've got two questions for you. The second question in the queue is uh, about PJP program. So a lot of students have asked that they have been allotted PJP and, and does completion of PJP program become a mandate uh, before they start this journey of velocity? Okay, so I think each of you always look at a more academic way of your skill development. Uh, is it mandatory? It is a final examination. It's a basic examination. So you are entering into the corporate world. Every learning is part of your career creation. So pre-joining program, whatever we enabled, is a prerequisite to your velocity program. That two to three weeks of rigorous foundational skill will help you to fast track your own understanding to velocity program. So mandatory, not mandatory is not the criteria of the digital work. It is the passion with which you complete your fun foundational skills will only make your life much better, right? If you may be asking very blunt question, if I do not pass in a PBL, would I be eligible? You still eligible and uh, only you have to take the cue from this and make your velocity much more faster. Yeah, I Thank think you. I just need to add actually Vavish over here. Uh, this PBL is just to help you to create certain base. 
in terms of having certain fundamental understanding about the technology and the skill that you are getting into the uh, higher study right now yeah, through the velocity. So it is just a very, very big good platform and I, I believe means you should definitely utilize that one. It will help you. Thanks, thanks. Uh... Kutur and thanks Rana for chiming in. Rana, now that you uh, are, are here, can you also uh, answer the next question, which happens to be uh, on the certification, which which would say that uh, some of the students have been saying that they already have a certification with themselves. So so after having a recertification, do I as a student need to go through a, a training program all over again? It's a good question. Uh, the thing is that uh, this curriculum actually is made in such a way uh, uh, that it doesn't have only the specific skill or technology. I'm just giving a simple example of when talking about the Java uh, full stack development is uh, for a matter of fact one of the skill I'm just uh, talking about. It is not about the Java or the core Java or any specific competency of the Java we are talking about. We are talking about a full stop development which actually will comprise on the certain part of the EOA essential, certain part of the microservices. We are basically covering this one in the DevOps and the CI CD combinations, the agile way of working. It's a totality of the entire gamut of the program. So that is the reason means the program actually spans over the period of time. Your certification surely will help in terms of your technical knowledge to uh, clear that entire velocity program faster. That is actually a benefit for you. And nevertheless, as, I, as we already mentioned, that once we clear the certification and join the Wipro, anyway, it will be reimbursed to you. So there is nothing actually just to uh, means uh, means fear of losing of anything. But it is actually the program is very much collaborative and very uh, much uh, you know uh, bundled up with a lot many other things to make a a full fledged programmer to start from the day one very effective. So I would probably prefer. Yes, keep your certifications. Any technology skills already you have as a one of the benefit and uh, means uh, good things to have with you. Join the velocity. It will you can see that means lot many things are coming on your way. Thanks, thanks Rana, for that. Uh, moving on, uh, Anurag, this one is for you and I'm being a little conscious about time, so we've got uh, four minutes to go and and well, I've got four questions, so great. So Anurag, the question now is. Uh, post joining Wipro after completing the certification, that is, will I be allotted the same uh, a project in the same skill sets or will the allocation be different? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, you have gone through this program. We are upgrading you to Turbo, uh, so we definitely want whatever you have learned. We will be allotted in the same area in the customer projects. So, so interestingly, Anurag, uh, we can also say already where they are going to work, that account level visibility we have. That's the that's the level of mapping is uh, done for you. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Kotur, and thanks, Anurag. Uh, Aparna, the next one is for you. Uh, the question is that a lot of students are a little confused with respect to saying that uh, I am selected for velocity, right? The offer that I have uh, right now uh, is of elite. So do I need to accept the elite offer letter to be able to participate or should I just wait and not accept this offer? No, you absolutely have to accept the offer because uh, uh, you know that's the first step to the enrollment. And the same offer will then get upgraded to a turbo offer once you've cleared your certification uh, and you come back and join us, right? So um, so please, if you've not accepted your elite offers or your existing turbo offers, you know, whoever has what, uh, you must go ahead and do that and continue to move ahead with your documents and all other all other hiring processes. Thank you, uh, Aparna. So well, there are there are two more questions which are coming up, and I I will take the liberty of answering them myself. Uh, uh, one, a lot of you are saying that uh, we've been waiting for the upgrade program to happen, and as uh, as Aparna alluded to in the uh, her earlier comments as well, but I think the question still comes up, stating that when is the upgrade assessment happening? When are we going to do the coding test? So. So let me reiterate the the uh, key message here. So for us, uh, obviously the upgrade program was a different way used to do uh, till about now. From this year onwards, we are looking at the upgrade program to happen in the form of velocity. So this is an opportunity for all of you to participate in a program at a larger level, get yourself certified, and, and there'll be no separate assessment uh, so as to speak. 
the assessment that will happen, which we spoke about in terms of milestones will be covered once you start your training program. Apart from that, there is no coding assessment how it used to happen uh, earlier for you to become eligible. All of you on this call are eligible for the velocity program. Now, how do I convert this eligibility into let's say an applicability and when do I get a new offer letter? Uh, is the series of interventions that we spoke about, which is one, uh, you complete your PJP, ensure that you understand the fundamentals before you begin this, this journey. Two, uh, we will conduct sessions. We will conduct several sessions uh, in the next week to, to give you more and more insights into what this program is, how can you move forward, what is the uh, fee, who is my training partner, how do I enroll, how do I register and whatnot. So I'm sure a lot of those questions uh, will be there uh, and we'll be there uh, at all times holding your hand and then walking you through this journey. The, the other part that we need to ensure is that uh, after uh, you hear from our training partners, understand and, and get clarity on all the questions that you have, you will be required to register. Once you register and make the enrollment and the payment fee with our training partners, you will go through the respective training curriculum followed by milestones, assessments, uh, capstone project, and then a certification. And, and once you are certified in the required skill set, we will be with open arms uh, willing to have you uh, and join the Wipro family. And as we have mentioned, the entire training cost uh, for those who clear the certification will be reimbursed. If I happen to be an elite engineer in six months uh, from my joining date, if I'm already somebody who holds a turbo of a letter, it will be given to you on the first month of your joining. So with this, uh, I, I give back to you, Prachi. I think we are one minute late, but over to you. Uh, no, we are excellent on time, but thank you so much uh, to all our participants and thank you to the entire Wipro team, all our leadership team. Uh, thanks for the time, guys. I hope you're all set to accelerate your career growth with velocity. As Bhavesh said, we are all ready, waiting with open arms for you guys to come join the Wipro family. And on that note, thank you so much for making the time uh, to come and see us and to attend the session. Um, and that's a wrap from us. So take care, stay safe. And if you have any questions, Write to us. You have the email address with you on the screen. We'd wait to hear from you and stay safe, all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks to all. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. And thanks, thanks Prachi. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. <clears throat>